Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, July 5th <clears throat> here. I hope everyone had a wonderful long weekend and hopefully you got some relaxing time in. I really wish daycare was open on holidays because that is how I would relax. All right, but that's not what we have. It was actually a really great weekend. Here's a look at our futures and I'm going to push this up as I do pretty much every morning because, well, hmm, can't see it but interesting we have this trend line in here and this does slice through some of these other candles this was a, a nice little trend line and we came right back up and tapped it <clears throat> pulling back in friday session actually turned out to be pretty decent we put in a higher high and a higher low and so far this morning in the futures we are doing that as well we need to see a continuation of that and a move back up above this 50 for any kind or sorry above the 20 for any kind of conviction for me uh, but what I would like to point out is the volume that we had on Friday was actually pretty decent. Um, considering that we were going into a long three-day weekend, typically by noon, all of a sudden, it looks like somebody put a pause on the charts. And we didn't do that. We actually had a fairly decent session throughout the, the day. So... <clears throat> um, looking at it that way, this, this actually... So volume on the day was lower. Than the average volume, but volume for the um, if you put a little asterisk next to it, next to it, I would say the volume was actually quite decent, pushing us up, meeting these candles, hitting a fib line here, and this morning we're giving a good portion of that back. But like I said, let's watch and see how the whole candle forms to see if we put in a higher high and a higher low. So like I said, we are moving um, down this. Um, down today this is what it looks like here on um, on the spy so this doesn't have anything from today but you can see here we did put in we squeaked out a nice little win over uh, a close over the eight bringing that three and eight right back together and we'll see how that pans out here today now those will be separated to the downside here as we start the session but where we start and where we finish can be two very different places so don't over kind of overlay your um, bias one way or the other. The other thing, um, consumer staples and uh, utilities did very well last week. That's Those are usually a bit more defensive plays. So we want to keep that in mind as well. We have seen a break here in gold and um, the reason for that is the strong U.S. dollar. Stronger dollar, people shy away from gold. So when the dollar starts to weaken again, this is where we would be looking to maybe make some buys. Oil, uh, in a fairly tight range here, I am still bullish on oil, but oil doing fairly well. Uh, if I, I, Yesterday I heard, I think it was AAA who put out that a record number of people hit the roads, not, just, not airlines, but hit the roads for this weekend. <clears throat> And although we've seen prices come down just a little bit, it was interesting as Troy and I, we went out uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, yeah, we went to Lowe's, and um, just to putz around, and by the time we came back, the uh, gas had, had popped up about 10 cents. Typically, I don't pay attention to that stuff, but I was making fun of my, my dear husband because normally it's my mother who tells me what every gas station is. I don't even drive. It doesn't matter, and I still have to buy it, so... Anyway, yep, I know. Little side complaint there. But anyway, that uh, I, I still, I'm going to make the case for oil overall to continue into this wedge, which will bring it up a bit more. And I am bullish on oil, or energy, I guess. All right. <clears throat> then lastly, we have Bitcoin. A lot of Bitcoin news out there. Different funds restricting um, what you can take out, how much you can take. I mean, just... It, it's kind of scary, I think, um, and it's because a lot of it, it's just not regulated yet. Do I think Bitcoin's going away? No, I absolutely do not. But I do think it's in for a lot of headwinds here as it sorts itself out and people decide exactly how much it is worth. Um, because, again, something is only worth something if, we're, if someone's willing to pay for it. So it's a very circular argument. But gold, if someone all of a sudden, or if, if people in general just decided that all of a sudden gold was just kind of, well, then gold wouldn't be worth anything. The only reason it's worth something is because we are willing to pay for it. So Bitcoin will be worth something as long as somebody else is willing to pay for it. 
Okay, so that's a look there. Have a few charts to look at. I didn't set any of these up with the pre-market weakness here, but Novavax, still like Novavax, we talked about this one. It was on the, uh, the chart here last week, a few days. We're holding this 50 really nicely, had a nice push, nice volume again for, that, for a Friday three-day weekend. This was actually really nice volume here on Novavax, so NVAX, nice push as long as it holds up above that 50 we'd like to see a little pull back in and then a push up here to this fib line to right um, around the 59 um, 5910 area the next one chewy wow i don't know this thing is just chewing up the chart <laughs> get it see chewy yep i am so funny this morning all right look at this we had a gap push 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 who had to take a break Came right back in, kissed the eight, looking for this to hold the eight and then make another push to the top side. So keep an eye on Chewy. Here's one that kind of interesting. Roblox. I know. Uh, I don't get this. Uh, you know, sometimes we don't have to necessarily understand the company, not because I don't understand what it does. I just don't understand why it's popular. But <clears throat> hey, I am not a kid. So nice move. We popped up above the 50 here on some really good volume, held that in. We've consolidated, so it looks like a nice bull flag just starting to play out here on Friday. We'll see if we get the continuation. Really like this if it clears up over that 3650 area. Um, take a look. Oh, oh wait, I can't wait. With um, NVAX, I didn't look at mRNA. Typically, those always go together for me. So mRNA, Moderna, this one as well had a nice consolidation period, pushed you know, pretty solidly here off the 50. Look for a little pullback in, maybe around to 145.50 or so, and then the push higher on mRNA. Last week, Snow had a few upgrades, which I thought was kind of interesting. I might be cautious with this one because as it trades in options, it can be very spready. And if your bid and ask is really wide on options, that means it's not liquid. The wider the the spread, the bid and ask make um, that it's less liquid so make sure you're really cautious with those if you're going to take them you have to be prepared for that that volatility i guess in it because it is so uncertain and get in on the bid don't don't get in on the ask there make it come to you nonetheless here a push over the 50 in snow is what i would be watching for and then we had the um electric cars have a very healthy pullback in on Friday. I like I, I the uh, probably the best here, but take a look at these and see if these are setting up now for net for the next leg higher. Tesla uh, had numbers out over the weekend and <clears throat> for their deliveries, and they are sitting right inside of this candle here from Friday. So this uh, somewhat of a doji candle here. Keep an eye on that. See if you can get a push. A um, little bit of a relax here right now, but see if we can get a push up above that 20. We're getting ready to head into earnings season again. This week, very few earnings. We start hit, hitting them next week, so keep that in mind. If you get into a play, make sure you know when your earnings are. And Friday, we have the employment report, and that definitely moves the markets. So as soon as that comes out watch for that swirling talk of well the feds are going to do this now they're going to do that now and yeah for the next fed meeting so we'll be sitting in that kind of news here for the next week or so okay that is it for me here this morning if you have any questions reach out heather c at givingtreetrading.com